everybody, welcome along to Sports Bet TV. I'm Paul Alster, back with you again, looking ahead to uh, weekend racing in Britain and Ireland on Saturday, the 18th of July, where there's some really excellent fare across both countries. Uh, we've got a total of three selections. They're all decent prices as well, so well worth sticking around for those. Very quickly, we gave you two selections on Thursday. Uh, they both run really well. Air Raid was recommended each way. We were hoping for rain, which actually came an hour and a half after the race itself. Uh, if it had been run later in the card, uh, he might well have won. But as it was, he led until headed a furlong out, kept on and finished third. So if you backed him each way at the recommended odds, he'd have shown a fair profit. I'm sure that if he'd have been able to run on the much softer ground uh, that came later on, then... Uh, he might well have gone very close to winning, but it was a really good effort from Air Raid. The other one was Tritonic, who we think caught a bit of a tartar because he was beaten by a subjectivist in the listed Glasgow stakes. He ran very well for Alan King and Holly Doyle, but the winner looks hugely progressive. And it wasn't a surprise afterwards to hear trainer Mark Johnston saying of the winner, he thought he might even run him in the St. Ledger, the final classic of the season at Doncaster in September. So I do think Tritonic won very much to keep on the right side. He could be a horse for the Ebor at York next month. We'll, uh, we'll get more to that in due course. Let's move on now to uh, Saturday where we have selections for you at York, Newbury and the Curragh. Great racing, of course, still no crowds, and it is such a shame because one of the great race days of the year is Magnet Cup Day at York. It's a race I know very well on, for me, my very favourite race course in the world, and having worked there so many times as a commentator and journalist and also as an SP returner, Magnet Cup Day is when John Smith Brewery send all their pubs with uh, busloads of regulars to come to the races and have a day out. And it's not unusual to have 35 to 40,000 people there in an absolutely incredible atmosphere. Of course, this year, it's going to be a totally different kettle of fish. There'll be nobody there apart from connections of the horses. But it's still a great race to feature, Magnet's uh, Cup. It's over the extended mile and a quarter. It's a high-quality handicap. And as ever, there are 22 runners. Now, amongst the fancied ones are John Gosden's Herovian, uh, Sir Michael Stout, Solid Stone, Desert Icon, who I fear, the William Haggis train runner, and also a Fark. You've got to be careful how you say that one. It's a very good horse, though. It won the Royal Hunt Cup last year, and it's trained by Charles Hills. But the one I like the look of is a horse trained by Ed Walker, who astonishingly announced that he would be relinquishing his licence this season. It's an indictment of the state of horse racing at the moment with very low prize money and uh, really a lot of difficulties financially for trainers in Britain in particular and it'll be a huge loss to the training ranks if indeed Ed Walker does uh, step down but hopefully he can at least take a big winner with him uh, this uh, Saturday and the horse in question is called Caradac trained by Ed and ridden by the excellent James Doyle who of course is a contract rider to Sheikh Mohammed's uh, Godolphin team now, Caradoc is a very likely race, five-year-old. He's the winner of four of his nine races on turf, and he won last season at uh, Newmarket, at Windsor, and also at Newbury. On top of that, he showed that he goes well at this track when finishing third of 16 in a red-hot handicap at the Ebor meeting last August. And he's only had the one run so far this year, and it was at Epsom, which probably wouldn't be the ideal track for him, yet all the same, uh, he stayed on well in the closing stages there uh, to finish 6 of 13, and he'll be much fitter for that, and I think they've had this on their agenda since last year at uh, the Ebor meeting at York. So for me, Caradoc, very much one to have on your side. He's among the market leaders, but because it is such an open 22-runner handicap, you can have 7 to 1 about him each way, and that is for five places so five places each way, even if he comes fifth, he'll show us a profit each way. And those odds are on offer at the moment, at the time of this recording, with Bet365, Skybet, Unibet, Betfred, Betway and Boyle Sports. So that is Caradoc in the 2.30 at York on Saturday, the mile and a quarter John Smith's Cup handicap. Now we have two other recommendations for you. Uh, the second of our three is at Newbury. Newbury at 3.25 on Saturday is a mile and a half listed Phillies contest. Now this is an interesting race. 
because uh, there's a horse in this that is very unexposed, just a three run so far, a filly trained by Henry Candy, who's one of the real shrewd trainers. He's a very, very smart cookie. And jockey David Probert is very capable, rides a lot, of course, for Andrew Balding as well. Now, this filly won on only her second start last year, and that was at Salisbury, taking a novice race in May 2019, over a mile and a quarter. She then met with a setback, and she was off the track for 13 months until uh, reappearing recently to run very well indeed at Pontypratt, where she was second in a listed contest, showing she stays a mile and a half. Now, she surely must have needed that run. She must have been a bit ring rusty. So I feel she's going to be absolutely spot on for Saturday. And I'm interested that they're offering five to one about her, which I think is a fair price, with the likes of William Hills, 888, Bet Fred, Paddy Power, 10 Bet and Sport Pizza. They're offering five to one at the time of this recording. Now, it's going to be no means uh, a pushover because the likes of Virgin Snow, who is the daughter of the great race mare Snow Fairy, uh, Cabaletta for uh, Roger Varian is very promising too. And I like the look too of George Scott's Mull Davis. But I do think that La Luna has more to give. And I think she would have taken a step forward from that Pontefract run. And I expect she's going to be bang there. And she must have every chance to uh, take this listed event for Henry Candy, who does well at the Berkshire track. So that is La Luna in the 325 race at Newbury. Now then, it's worth sticking around on Saturday because there's a really good meeting in Ireland at the Curra, which of course is Irish Oaks Night. I'll be honest, I tried to find you a selection in the Irish Oaks and I just can't figure it out. Too many O'Brien horses. Um, I do think uh, that uh, Kay and Pepper's got a big chance uh, against the O'Brien team, both Aidan and Joseph O'Brien, but it's one I'm steering clear of. But the 6.15 race, which is a fiendishly difficult six furlong handicap, in fact six and a half furlongs, it's a race that I'm very interested to see that David O'Mara has sent over a horse who has a lot of ability, a horse called Gulliver. And Gulliver uh, was last seen finishing fourth at Royal Ascot in the Wokingham Handicap, one of the hottest six furlong handicaps of the year. This is a horse who's tough as teak. He runs his race day in, day out, no matter what the weather, no matter what the ground. It doesn't matter if it's six or seven furlongs. And this intermediate trip of six and a half, I think, will suit him ideally, especially with the uphill finish at the Curra. Now, Gavin Ryan, who rides him, is a very useful £5 claimer. And that £5 allowance is really going to help. He's 10 to 1. Uh, and I recommend him each way. And then once again, there are five places on offer with a very big field in this. And he's, five, he's 10 to 1 available with the likes of Bet Fred, uh, with uh, Paddy Power, Bet Fair, and 10 Bet. Now, there are loads of dangers because it is an ultra competitive handicap. And of course, handicaps being handicaps, the idea is for them all to have an equal chance in theory. And I think the handicapper has done a good job here. Art Humi. Uh, that one won the race last year. I'm sure it's going to make a bold bid for a second victory. I'm also interested in a horse called Ice Cold in Alex, which I think will go well for Midland Park Racing. And another British raider is called Gunmetal for David Barron, who's very useful on his day. And there's also one that won at the track last time out, an Irish trained runner called Nordic Passage. But for me, it's British raider Gulliver for David O'Mara and Gavin Ryan, who I think is going to give you a great run for your money in the Scurry Handicap, the 6.15 at the Curra on Saturday. So that's just about it for today. Uh, let's hope for some good luck. I'll be honest with you, I'm going to have a round robin, each way round robin, seven bets, and uh, I think uh, we might have one or two winners. I'm really confident we're going to have uh, a successful time on Saturday. So enjoy your racing as always, and I look forward to you joining me midweek for our midweek bulletin. But for now, it's Paul Alster signing off from Sportsbet TV. Enjoy your racing. Bye-bye.